Hello everyone. We will continue the topic debugging. In the previous video, we learned we have two ways to enter into debugging mode. You can put the breakpoint on any executable statement or you can debug or you can enter into debugging mode through transaction code slash h. Now we will move forward. The whole game of debugging is based upon these four execution keys. What are those four execution keys? F5, F6, F7, F8. F5, step-by-step -step execution. F6, line by line execution f7 return f8 continuous execution or exit if we know how to use these four keys it means we can easily learn the debug whole debugging is a game of these four keys only f5 f6 f7 f8 now I will go to a program and we will see how we can debug the code through these four keys, through these four keys. I will go to the program. This is the program, suppose. I am putting the data on 37 number line, suppose. Suppose I put the date, I suppose I put the breakpoint on this 37 number line. I'm running the program. I'm giving the input. I will go for execute. Desktop three, most, most preferable desktop. Now, see whenever you are going for desktop three, code and variable values you can see parallelly. That's why it is always, always most preferable desktop. In the future, I will come on to other desktop also. Just whenever you want to debug, always, always prefer desktop three. I am on 37 number line. In this 37 number line query, we are fetching data and data is coming into this internal table lt underscore data one. Suppose if I will double click on this internal table, you can see on the right hand side, it is appearing in the variable. It is appearing under variable. So you can debug the code Parallelly, you can see the variable values here. I am on 37 number line. I will consider this as a step because you are fetching data from the table. In this particular step, you are fetching data from the table. I'll simply do F5. You can see F5, F6, F7, F8. Or you can use the same keys through keyboard also. It's your wish. Suppose I am doing F5. And you can see when we did F5, our first, first query executed and I moved on to 42 number line. Currently, my cursor is on 42 number line. And you can see data came into the first internal table when my first query executed. When my first step executed. I am on 42 number line. It is also a step in which we are checking the if condition. I am doing F5. 
you can see I'm on 43 number line. On 43 number line, we are again fetching data and we are storing into internal table, second internal table. I double click and you can see internal table name appeared here. If I'm opening this internal table, you can see it does not have any record and it has four columns. Without opening the internal table, you can simply tell from here also. Zero record, four number of columns. I am doing F5. Once I will do F5, this step will execute. This step will execute, which is fetching data from the order item table, this particular table. I am doing F5. And you can see in my second internal table, this second internal table, 13 records came, 13 records came, and it has four number of columns. Previously, it has zero records. When this particular step executed, 13 records came in the internal table. I'm doing F5 again. And you can see, I'm on 52 number line. On 52 number line, we are doing the sorting. It is again one step, single step. Now I'm on 53 number line. I'm again doing F5. Now I'm on 56 number line. So this is F5 step by step execution. You are doing step by step execution. Now, I will go for F6 key and then we will cover the difference between both of them. I'm going for executing the program. I just came out. Now we will debug the same program through F6 key and then we will see what is the difference between both of them. I am giving the input. I'm clicking on execute button. Desktop three, most preferable desktop, most preferable. Now what is F6 key? F6 is line by line execution. F6 is line by line execution. Now question comes, how you are recognizing a line in SAP? Whenever there is a dot at the end, that is considered as one line in SAP. Simple. This select query starts from 37 number line. There is no dot between. There is a dot on 40 number line. So this is one line in SAP. This is one line in SAP because dot is there. This is one line in SAP. This is one line in SAP. This is one line in SAP. One line in SAP. One line, one line. So I can execute this code using F6 key. F6 is line by line execution. If I double click on this internal table. Zero record, five columns. If I want to execute this query, I will simply do F6. And you can see my first query executed and data came into the internal table. I am on 42 number line. If I want to execute this line, I will do F6. If I want to execute this query, this is one line, I will do F6. Suppose if I open my second internal table, currently it has zero number of records. Once I will do F6, you can see this internal table has 
13 number of the house. So we are executing the code line by line. I am doing F6. Now I am on 52 number line. If I want to execute this line, I will do F6. If I want to execute 53 number line, I will do F6. So now we are executing the code line by line. Now the question comes, everyone will ask, same code you debugged through F5 key, same code you debugged through F6. See, this is one step. This is one step. This is one step, one step, one step. So we considered this as a one step. F5 is step by step execution. This is one line because the dot is here. It is one line. 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 Is one line. So same code we debug through F6 key also. Then what is the difference between these two keys? So as of now, in this video, we have not discussed the difference. Whenever we'll go for the next video, at that time, you will see the real difference between the F5 and F6 key. In this program, F5 and F6 are behaving same. You can debug through F5 you can debug through F6 also because our step and line are same. In the next video, we will clearly see the difference in which scenarios F5 and F6 will behave differently. And then we will go for F7 and F8 keys also. So that's in this video. Thank you.